You can't give up. Dad's counting on you. You've got to figure out who's behind these origami cards. Who's that? Oh. Sorry. I didn't even hear you come in. You were kind of lost in that photo. Who is it? My dad. Excuse me? Uh, what do you think you're doing? It's not your dad. I've seen your dad. He doesn't look anything like that. Oh, not anymore, but that was him before the plastic surgery. You're kidding, right? He disappeared for a long time. Everyone thought that he was dead, but he was really alive. He got beaten so badly that he needed reconstructive surgery. And when he came back looking the way he does now, no one believed it was him, that he was Todd Manning except for me. I knew. How? My little brothers are a lot younger than I am, so I was an only child for a while. My dad and I were so close. He would let me have snakes, and we would stay up all night watching horror movies. And he called me Shorty. Must have been nice. Yeah, it was. I missed all that with my dad. Yeah, you can still have a relationship with him. It's a little late for him to call me Shorty. So, why are you looking at a picture of your dad with his old face? Oh, so you why are you sneaking into Mr. Manning's office? Who are you? Who are you? I'm Vimal Patel. I'm Mr. Manning's new associate. Who are you? That's great. Your parents must be very proud. I, I, I will need to see some ID, though, or I will have to call security. What the hell kind of name is Origami Cogs, anyway? Food. That's what I need. Okay, relax. You don't, you don't need to call security. I have every right to be here. We haven't been introduced. My name is Kent. Nicholas Kent. So why are you sneaking into Mr. Manning's well, office? I didn't want to disturb Kent. him. I mean, you know how he gets. Yes, he values his privacy. Do you have an appointment? I don't need an appointment. I'm the trash collector. Maintenance? Sure, if you want to put it that way. Well, usually the maintenance men around here wear uniforms. They also have collection cards. OK. I I know that you haven't been here a long time, and I'm not going to hold that against you. But I've been here since day one. The first issue of The Sun wouldn't have happened without me, and I don't need a uniform or a collection cart to do the kind of collecting that I do. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I overstepped, Mr. Kent. I just, I know how much Mr. Manning hates to be disturbed. You and me both. Let's just, um, let's forget this ever happened. Great. Yeah, anything to keep Mr. Manning happy. <laughs> oh, Mr. Manning is going to be very happy sometime real soon. I'm sure of that. Talk to James about this, and you and I are supposed to be recording music. What's that on his face? The scar? Yes, it's gone now. What? My little brother. He claims that he has this new friend, a guy that he found out by our pool. We all thought he was imagining things. But now you don't? Why? When I asked Sam, about his new friend. He said he had a line on his face. Like your dad's old scar? 
Only Sam never knew my dad when he had that scar. Could he have seen pictures? Yeah, that's the only possible explanation. So how come you don't buy it? I should just listen to my mom and your aunt. Well, what do they say? They're saying that Sam is making it up, that this line on his friend's face must have gotten it from an old picture of my dad. Except you don't believe that. It doesn't matter what I believe. Why not? Because it doesn't make sense. Sam's got to be making it up. It's the only other explanation. Anything's possible. Okay. Just take a man's life. Could be a clue in here somewhere. Mr. Manning loves you. I have a son. His name is Jack. you. If I'd known it was you, I wouldn't, I wouldn't hurt you, Jack. Dad? Dad? Did that maintenance man disturb you? You're gonna be the one picking up garbage unless you find me another satellite to buy. Of course, sir. And stay under the radar this time. The last one I bid on was stolen right from under me. Sir, you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jack. Hey. Hey, buddy. Dad. What happened? Dad. I don't know. I think somebody knocked me out. Did you see who it was? Are you sure you're all right? The ER is very close. I'll be fine. I see this thing. Wow. What happened? I hit a wall with the origami cogs thing. So I went out to get some food. I was only gone like three minutes. And when I came back, the door was locked. These doors? Yeah. And when I got inside, somebody hit me. But you didn't see who? It was from behind. Security. What are you doing? I'm just looking for some painkillers. Stay out of my desk. If you want painkillers, I'll get you some. Hey, it's Star. Get up in my office. There's been a break in. Yep. That's weird. What's weird? Someone messed with the computer when I was gone. Okay, that's one too many. What, what do you mean? Well, someone broke into your Aunt Vicky's place earlier, smashed a picture of me, and now someone's attacked you and messed with the computer. I know who's doing this to us. I just, I had a feeling this would work. It, you know, we could take this act on the road, make a name for ourselves. You think? Well, like I said, anything's possible.
Excuse me, Mr. Kent, could you please clean up my office after you're done with Mr. Manning's, of course. Sure. You're right, I'll have to come back from Mr. Manning's office, though. Still a lot of trash in there. Where's my security team? Forget security. What did you mean? Who's doing this to us? The same bastards who stole my satellite. Origami cogs. I was on the computer for an hour. There's nothing about them. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, they can't stay hidden forever. We'll get them. <laughs>